Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. We're going to have a look at a tool called Add Loft Section. Add Loft Section will allow us to uh, take a loft and add intermediate profiles to it once it has been created. So in this case, we're going to be taking a look at this loft here. Now, we'll get an idea of how this loft was created by switching to another part. We have a sketch here, which will be my first profile, a sketch here, which will be my second profile, and then we have a, a 2D sketch and a projected curve, which will act as my guide curves. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so there's our loft and nested underneath it we have our profile sketch and the, the curves. Okay, you can see in this part that's exactly how this one was created. So to add these intermediate profiles what we do is we right click on the loft and within the uh, right click menu you'll see add loft section. So if we click on that it will bring up a plane. Now you are free to position this plane exactly where you want the intermediate profile. You notice that I can rotate it round at various angles uh, just by hovering over the edge of the plane and, and moving it. Also we have these handy little arrows here which just allow me to move that. Okay so <clears throat> I've got my plane roughly where I want my intermediate profile to be. I'll just go ahead and accept that and what we'll find is that additional sketch has been added underneath the surface loft. Okay, we'll go ahead and add another one. And if you want to be really specific about where your uh, reference plane is, you can add a plane prior to the loft feature and just turn on use selected plane. This will allow you to select a plane either from the graphics area or for the, from the tree. Okay, so you can see there that we have a, an additional uh, sketch profile added. Okay, so now we've done this, it becomes very easy to start manipulating this, this model, uh, specifically this loft feature. What I can do is I can click on uh, the loft, I can access those curves, and I can just start manipulating them until they give me the sort of profile I'm after. Okay, so that's a very handy tool. I hope you enjoyed the presentation.